good morning beautiful people i hope you all are doing well welcome back to the channel and for today's video we have a very interesting topic to discuss and that topic being as you can tell from the title is should you give away raw files so i thought today's video or this topic would be a good topic for a discussion because I was dealing with something similar with a client that uh, contracted me out for a project, but we'll get into that in just a moment. We'll go downstairs, make a cup of coffee, and then we'll come back upstairs and get into it. So, yeah. yeah that's it so that was my whole coffee uh montage or intro or time lapse or whatever and as you can tell i'm still working on the latte art some days it's a hit some days it's not so i'm still getting there but yeah for the most part i think i have my latte technique down if you guys are interested in seeing a video about my morning coffee routine let me know i'll make a video about that might just do one anyway but uh yeah so back to should you give out raw files so all right so the discussion about should you give out raw files is a very iffy or tricky situation or tricky topic and i say that because there are times where giving out raw files is kind of expected. And then there are situations where 100% hard no. So, and I'm going to kind of break down the two on the yes and the no side, just so you guys can get a better understanding. So the only time when I think that giving out raw files is okay is that when coming to the project is necessary. So whether that's you're on set and you have, you know, your media person, they are there to back up everything, to have one, two, and three duplicates of all the footage to make sure nothing goes bad. And in that instance, like, yeah, it's expected for you as the DP or cinematographer to give up the raw files just to make sure that everything is backed up and safe for the duration of the project. No, like that's kind of expected. And then there are situations where you as a contractor or you as a freelancer, where you have a client who asks like, hey, can I get the raw files? And typically their answer would be, so I'm able to use the footage later. Now, in that instance, it is a complete no. Never, ever, ever, ever give out those raw files in that instance, because in turn, the client or that individual is essentially just trying to repurpose the content that you shot for additional content, branding, commercials, advertisement, whatever the case may be, without cutting you your fair share of profit. Or So essentially, they're trying to double dip on the project without trying to pay you for it. So in that instance, when giving out raw files, that's a complete hard no for me. When in turn, the client can, you know, easily just pay you for an additional edit or, you know, whether that's five months down the line or up front, they're telling you like, hey, I want to be able to use this content for X, Y, and Z. Is that possible that, you know, you make an edit for this and this and that? And if you're able to, you know, create 
three or two different versions of the similar footage, but for different purposes or different platforms, then by all means, that's something that you and the client should be able to work out. But oftentimes people try to, you know, weed around the bush or beat around the bush. So in that instance, never give out those raw files. Now, the reason why this topic came up is because recently I had a commission project where I was contracted out to come and shoot, edit, and produce a promotional video for a social media brand, but that social media brand hired a production company, and that production company contracted me out to be able to come and shoot it. Now, beforehand, I didn't sign any contract. I didn't you know, agree to any terms and conditions when actually shooting this project. So in turn, everything that I created will be mine at the end of the day. So upon shooting the production company and the actual brand, um, I sat with them and talked and we figured out like, hey, you know, you have any examples of what you want this work to look like? Um, Do you have any, you know, previous work of this material or this series that we're working on that you want to replicate or, you know, have something look similar to. And they pretty much didn't have anything built out already. So I pretty much had the free reign to create anything and everything that I wanted. So thus, I created an intro, I created an outro, all the transitions, all the motion graphics. Um, I licensed out all of the music royalties. So all of these expenses and all of these digital assets that were used within making that said project are mine. Like I own those. I pay a subscription for these services. I either bought them outright from a third party. So the client thus asked me if I could, and when I say client, I'm talking about the production company, asked me if I could in turn give them my whole project timeline so that they are able to reproduce or, you know, copy and paste this edit that I had with future projects down the line. And as you can see where this is going, like that's a 100% no for me. Like if you want this look to be consistent and to have a certain continuity amongst all like this entire series, then I need to be hired for said projects, however many they are. Okay, so here's the issue when it comes to them asking me for the whole complete project file. Essentially, what they're asking me for is to give up the intellectual property of the created video that I did for them. Now, by definition, intellectual property is defined or refers to any creations of the mind, such as inventions, literary, artistic works, designs, and symbols, names, and images used in commerce. So as a creator, as I mentioned beforehand, we have the power when it comes to everything that we create. So by me being able to come up with a specific combination of motion graphics, um, sound effects, sound design, um, intros, and uh, different types of effects and laying them all together, that specific combination is my intellectual property. Now. Because that effect or that style was unique in the intro that I created, it's also unique to me. So thus, in order for you to be able to use that or repurpose it, you'll have to come up with some type of cost or fee. So yeah, at the end of the day, remember guys to one, always protect yourself and your business. And you and your business should always come first. And it's not you being, you know, a bad freelancer or a bad businesswoman or businessman, but more so it's just you doing good business to protect yourself. Similar to you, if you're putting a contract in place to protect yourself and then to protect the client um, on their end to make sure that you both get what was agreed upon. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for all of you out there. If it was, make sure to hit that like button. And if you aren't already, please consider subscribing to the channel to be notified for future videos, whether it's 
videos such as this, vlogs, tutorials, documentaries, shorts, or whatever the case may be. And yeah, I see you all in the next one. Peace.